Hi and welcome back to another video. The last video I made was about the solar system, which was a bit lengthy because I had to explain a lot of things. But I even realized I didn't even capture everything. So in today's video, I just want to uh, quickly highlight some few things that you also have to take into consideration if you are looking at getting or yeah, going for solar. This brings me to the battery. So. The battery is also a very important component of the entire solar setup because whatever um, energy which is going to be captured from the sun or through the panels uh, to be stored is going to be stored in the batteries. Now the type of battery, the size of battery you have will also play a very important role. I think in my last video I spoke about the size and then how to even calculate for you know um, if you are running a battery that is series or and parallel mode to be able to know what you know amount of power you are getting within which particular period. Now there are types of solar batteries. There's the AGM battery, there's the gel battery, there's lithium ion battery and then a few uh, more. So uh, and then also deep cycle battery. So all these batteries have their advantages and disadvantages but among them all uh, the one which is uh, said or known to be very uh, efficient is the lithium ion batteries. However, they are very expensive. Yes, very, very expensive. So aside from the lithium ion batteries, you can also go in for um, either gel batteries or deep cycle um, batteries. So what we have here is uh, deep cycle batteries. Um, that is 100 age, two of them that makes it 200 age. So that is the type of battery we have here. Now with the deep cycle batteries, um, based on a couple of research, uh, it is known that you don't, it doesn't discharge 100% of its power or your power in it. So it discharges to about 70 to 80% of its power. So if you have about 100 AH, which is like 1200 watt, you're not going to be able to use the entire 1200 watt of the power stored in the battery as compared to that of lithium ion um, batteries. So yeah, that is, um, with regard to the battery that we have or the type of solar batteries that are even available. Aside from that, I think um, reading a couple of comments from the previous video, I noticed I noticed that a lot of people were also interested in knowing how long does what we have here um, last year or run for. So this is a very tricky question. However, the power that is uh, stored in the batteries stays for a certain period or maybe longer or shorter depending on what devices or appliances that we are using so an example is uh, the last time i showed you the grinding machine which we're using to cut a marble here so that particular machine takes about 700 watts of i think some one or 700 watts of power to be able to operate now if you are using such machine that means that you're going to be able to run it for some few minutes you can't use it for a very long time so what we're doing was that we were using that machine during the hot like when the sun was really up so the batteries charges you know very fast so that was when we we're using the, um, the machine so we could use it for like about 10 minutes then the battery uh, the battery ran low so we'll have to hold on a little bit until the battery gains some uh, power before we continue using it so that's like 700 watts of you know um, power that will be able to you'll be able to use that for a long time because of the power that we have now if we're running something like the light that is the 12 watt light two three of it can stay as long as hours like eight hours eight or nine hours before it will eventually uh, maybe run low so i actually tested that um where we had some of the lights on and then stayed on for like eight hours into the night deep night before I eventually went off so i must say i came to spend a night here to finish up some ways and it was very great so i'll share it i'll share it, um, the experience with you in a different video so basically aside from the batteries aside from the panels the inverter the type of cables um yeah these are things that you take into consideration when you're looking at um you know going with um solar and then also the batteries like i said different types of battery goes with different costs and also have different advantages over the other so if you are looking at going for the best uh, possible option you should know that you are supposed to or you are going to be spending a lot of money on that so i think that will basically be about it for this video oh 
before I even um, conclude this video, let me share a very uh, important part of this whole solar system, which is during rainy season. So I think the last time, even my video with Build with Tamwa, we couldn't get power because what happened was that the previous day before, even I think it was, yeah, the previous day before she came, uh, they were installing the tile. So they used a grinded machine to cut and then they worked into the night. So they used all the power in the battery. So like it was nothing to start the, the system at all. So in such situation, I had to get like power to, you know, power up the, mm. the batteries to get some, you know, power in it before the um, inverter was able to operate. So that's like even getting uh, power from the panels. And also when she came, it was raining. So we didn't have sunlight to drink then, even though there was a little bit of daylight, it wasn't enough to like, charge the battery because you know the inverter also which is important you know is that it also consumes some of the power from the battery because it has to run so depending on the type of inverter you have will determine the power in which it's using to run or to operate the entire system so that also drains the battery um, to be able to operate so that's important you need to know that so during rainy seasons if you don't have um, enough battery to be able to store up more power, uh, uh, the chances of you having power throughout the entire period is going to be a bit difficult. Now, using solar personally has uh, brought about being very conscious when using electricity. If you don't need it, you don't power it up. You don't power up something, leave it on for a long time when you don't really, you're not really using it, which is important. We mostly do that when we are using a national grid because yeah it's in abundance and we don't really pay much attention to it so that's one important thing i've noticed or uh, about myself using um solar because uh, because you are relying on battery power which is like limited you are conscious of power usage so you don't really power things that you don't need and if you are going to power up something you are thinking of which time of the day is best to do that so that once power is lost, power is easily restored during that period. So as it stays now, I need a few more batteries and um, I'm reaching out to you in case you have uh, maybe deep cycle batteries out that you want to donate to me. I'd really, really appreciate it. It should be 12 volts. Well, 24 volts is also fine. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you want to also donate to help me get some more batteries to you know, power up the entire house to be able to last for a long time, that would also be very much appreciated too. That will basically be about it for this video. I can see, I think you might see that my eyes are a little bit so I'm having a little bit of allergic reactions to that, but I'm fine, I'm, I'm good. So that will be about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see. So once again, my name is Eshma Lamte and let me know your questions. Let me know the questions you have about the entire process and everything and I'll do what to respond to you so that'll be about it for this video thank you for watching bye for now